Hey guys, it's Mashemi. I'm Bobok, and you're watching BTWF Siblings. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you want to see more of what I post, upload, and also don't forget to to comment down below and share this video with your friends and family. And without further ado, let's get on to the video, to the intro, and then to the video. Hey guys, so today we will be making a panda bear. So this is a quick sketch that I made on what I want to create. So I'm making this for my cousin. This is going to be her Christmas present. Today I will be showing you how to get from this to this. First, we have to cut the pattern pieces. So these are all the pattern pieces that you need. You can see them on screen. And if you do decide to create this yourself, I would um, make the seam allowance on the arms and the feet much wider because I did not do that and they were, they were quite small compared to the belly. Another thing, if you guys decide to create a panda yourself based on this pattern, you guys obviously don't have to choose the colors that I did. You can go for... A more colorful panda if you wanted to that's why it's nice to create your own stuff that way you can choose everything every little tiny thing so this is our, a brief outline of the steps I took to make the panda you can pause here if you want to look at them if you want to create yourself although please look through the video and then after come back then I cut these ovalish pieces, which will be sort of like, they won't be the eyes, but they'll be around the eyes. And then I sew them to the head. This was sort of hard to pin and then also to sew, but it was manageable. So now change of scenery. I am actually at my Shosho's house and this is a few days before Christmas if not um, two days before Christmas so no need to say that I was super late as usual anyway off camera I added these eyes you can check my Snyder video to see how I put them on so now I sew the mouth and the nose by hand I originally wanted to use a button for the nose but in the end I did not like how it looked so I decided to use thread never mind the continuity problem so now I sew the white part of the body to the black part of the body and for this part I actually used two layers of the white fabric since it was pretty thin and I am actually using my Shosho sewing machine to sew this part. Next, I sew the feet to the body as well as sew the head to the body. And now I sew the arms. I pinned them to the panda's body and then sewed on top of that.
Now to make the ears, I cut these black half circle shapes for them. Then I sew on the edge of them and turn them inside in. Inside in or inside out? I'm not sure. And stuff them with fluff. I'm sorry the camera wasn't focusing for this part. This is where things start to get a little crazy, if you will. So for the entire time I was sewing the ears, the camera was not placed properly, so you can't even see what I'm doing, so, uh, sorry. And now I can pin the back and front good side on good side, and when we do this, we can't forget to pin the ears to on the inside of the head as well. Then we sew around the body and when you do this don't forget to leave a little gap opening that way we can turn it inside out. Lastly we stuff the panda and then we're done. Bye guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like this video if you did, and see you guys next time!